was my first year at Buffalo State College and they invited the new students who were interested in fashion to come in and they, um, so the new students and the parents and they put us all in a room and um, she, she scared the crap out of us honestly. I walked into one of her technology classes and I was like who is this lady with this crazy hair up there? <laughs> The first class I took with her was a fashion technology course and she was very uh, strict in the rules and I, she laid down the law pretty much. I do remember taking classes with her. I, I took as many classes with her as I could because she was one of my favorite teachers. She was a really strict teacher but she was very fair and she would always try and help, uh, help in any way that she could. It turned out to be one of the best things ever because Elaine introduced me to a whole world of technology that I had no idea was part of the fashion world. And I just attached myself to her for the rest of college and followed her around until I graduated, <laughs> so. She would say to me, um, you're really creative. You've got to focus on the technical aspect of things. Actually, probably once a week, her voice goes through my head reminding me of that. She wasn't afraid to tell the students, especially at this really like young age, to say, this is what your strengths are and this is what your weaknesses are. This is what you need to work on. I, I realized that even though I wasn't technologically savvy walking in the door here, that I could be and I threw myself into it. She continued to push me because I think she saw something that I hadn't seen yet. She opened the door for all those extra spots for some of these students like myself that maybe didn't feel like they fit in in the regular fashion world as some people think of it. And I just continued to push myself because she pushed me and I will never lose that. And she thought out of the box. She was never afraid of technology. She was never tr afraid to try something new. Her advice and encouragement has led me to teach the very class where I met her for the first time. Elaine really cared about each and every one of us. She, she was fiercely determined to make us succeed, to teach us everything that she had inside her brain, and she never gave up. She was always pushing always, <laughs> pushing forward, um, thinking about innovation, what's the next new technology, what's the next greatest, best thing. Her legacy is the student fashion show. It's the culmination of your entire time at Buffalo State College in the fashion program to be able to do the runway show. And to pull that off and to be able to show off your work um, is really important. And I think of that as her baby. I heard about her cancer at the very beginning when I was a freshman here. She came out in front of the class and was just like, look, this is what I'm going through. I'm gonna be taking some time off. Just wanted to let you guys know. She would always come to class no matter what health she was in. She was definitely a fighter. And she, no matter, no excuse, she would be there for us as students. Working in the department on a day-to-day -day basis, I definitely feel her presence. And I see it with her students. I see it with some of our other faculty that had her as an instructor as well. And um, she's here. She's watching us. I never ever remember talking to her when she was sick and thinking like that she sounded like not hopeful or sad or depressed. She was always 100% focused on moving forward and what an inspiration for all of us.